Let our hearts, let our strings, let's revere our school of faith, ever true, loyal, true, for our colors, white and blue. Uh, 
and uh, hopefully as, as he's got mature a little more, we'll be a lot stronger down the stretch. I think a dark, a dark horse in the WBIC coming up to tournament time has got to be rated over in Athens' way, Concord. Yes, well, Concord got a good ball club. They've beaten us twice, but uh, uh, with his addition to Tracy Poindexter, that's definitely going to help him. Uh, I just think that uh, Concord has five, six good ball players, an uh, exceptional ball player, Randy Jennings, though. I've had to give Randy that credit. Uh, he's, he's a very good heady ball player, good offensive player. But you take eight or nine real strong players, and that's what I'm saying that, that A.B. and then uh, Salem, Glimble, uh, Fairmont, these, these teams have eight, nine real good ball players. So I have to put Concord uh, below five or six. Uh, I have to give them that much credit. All righty. We're talking with Coach Terry Brown and Coach Brown. We'd like to wish you the best of luck throughout the coming season. And you got Glenville this Friday night, is that right? Right, Friday night. And, uh, well, we expect to see you in, in the column. Thanks very much. Hope to see you Thanks so much. And we wish you the best of luck throughout the rest of the season. We'll be back with more of our pregame show right after this, so don't go away. You're off for bacon. All righty. We've uh, got it back here. I'm Glenn May, and we've got Bob Graham alongside. And Bob's one of our saddle buddies, and sometimes we can't always stand him, but other times. You know how it is, we... We wouldn't take a million dollars for it, but we wouldn't give a nickel for another and just like it. Hello, Bob. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Glenn. And I might say the first thing is the pet band's here tonight. The place is full. The people coming out to the grass. So we've got another uh, packed house uh, the hospital here. And Bluefield just came out of the uh, locker room. We've also got Charlie right along. Welcome aboard, Charlie. Uh, thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. And uh, I was just looking at the line up here. It looks like Lucy has been all set pretty good with all things in my bed. Two six three men and a six seven. The last seven three column men for Lucy. So this count uh Clark County probably may be a good matchup tonight, maybe a real fine ball game. All right, Charlie, and uh, we've got Jack Alaire back with us tonight, and the Dolphin Tones of Jack Alaire come in. Thank you, Glenn. Looking forward to a good game tonight. Hey, this should be a Donnybrook guy. Yeah. Uh, Preston, the final quarter and a half over no kill really got together. And let's look and see if they can put it together for a whole game tonight and win about 50. I think it's going to be noisy. Yeah, it's, it's quite noisy in here tonight. Charlie Wright says noise never bothered him in his life. He can lay down and go to sleep right beside of it. You know, Charlie Wright was not in that booth about that necklace facing that speaker head on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's all this who's off in the ditch. By the way, the JV's... Uh, Went down to the Peter tonight to Bluefield, and uh, Bob, you've got uh, some JV scoring on those uh, kids, I think, and also some on the Bluefield team. Let's come down to my 62 to 52. Four Princeton, Troy Clements had 20 points. Greg Thompson had 10 points. For Greg, the uh, fine football player, talking to last year on the football team also. And Joseph Harrison had 9 points. For Bluefield, Mark Baker has dressed for the varsity game. Chip Lewis has dressed for the varsity game, and also Kevin Cruz with their leading scorers. Yeah, 
So now, we're ready for basketball as we've got the teams huddled around their respective coaches for the last few minutes of instruction. Coach Haney Wallace, of course, in here with the Beavers and Haney's a part of the country team here for years. Has an awful lot of friends over here. And, of course, Coach Ralph Ball in the 21st year with the Tigers. The Beavers are out there. As they have Sammy Jones. And Dewey Bassins, I'm trying to put the faces with the names here right now. And uh, Russell Copley and Mike Dent and Joe Dotson. So the Tigers go out. And, of course, there's Jimmy and Jeff. Boy, Jeff walking through the center field looks like a midget, doesn't he? <laughs> so we'll have Dent to jump against Miller. Mike Dent of Bluefield against Jimmy Miller of the Clemson Tigers. Dent's in the center circle. Now Miller moves in, waiting on the official. Official moves in. The ball in the air. Tip control by the Tigers as the wet loses it. And it's picked up in the backcourt by Joe Dobson of the Beavers. He gives it to Jones. And Sammy Jones will bring it to the offense for Bluefield. To the left side as they lead outside the Copley. Comes around to stop to Jones. Top of the key with it and he spreads it back outside. Now he moves it to the right side. Looking underneath with it. Waiting for somebody to move. Trying to get it to Dobson. Throws it out of bounds. And it'll be Tiger Ball. It's the whip. Well, then down this to St. Clair. St. Clair to Eads. And Keith to the front court on the left side. Puts it to the left-hand dribble. Moves it back to the right hand. Moves it toward the key. Still on the move with it. Working on Jones. Drops it to Miller. Goes across the key. Lays it up and in. On a running hook shot. Jim Miller puts the Tigers up 2-0. And the Tigers with a face-up man-to-man. No zone trap. Just a little bit of face-up man-to-man. And St. Clair takes the ball away from Jones, but he kicks it. And he turns it over. And St. Clair had him fought. And as he went for the ball, he came out against the foot. So it'll be Beaver ball out of bounds in the backcourt. As Jones and bounds it to Copley. And he gives it back to Jones and he takes it to the front court. As Jones to the right side with it. So Jones into the key. And we've got a whistle and a three-second violation called against the Beavers. So the whip will end down it for the Tigers. He brings it into St. Clair. 705 up to play in the first quarter. Tigers lead 2 nothing. As St. Clair to the front court, brings it to the left side. The Eves on the wing position, looking underneath with it. They got Miller on the low post. Works on Dent, goes under. He's fouled by Dent. And on Dent, that's number one. Team foul number one on the Beavers. As Miller, with all intent of drawing the foul, went to the bucket. Where he could have pulled up. Now Jim's very sharp on that 6 8 foot jump shot. He wanted that foul, and he went after it and got it. And that's foul number one on Big Mike Dent of the Beavers. So Miller on the line now. He'll shoot two. There's 654 left to play in the first quarter. As Miller fires, it's on the iron and good. He got front iron and finally dropped it. As Miller will have one more attempt. As Jim dribbling. He fires with the right hand. It's on the way and good. Four and I think Tigers up. As the Tigers will press now. Jones with the ball in the backcourt. As the Tigers cut him off. The up court pass to Copley. Copley in the back court, leaves it for Baskin. Baskin to the front court, left side. Into the corner with it. To Dent, firing out of the corner. Off the flank, no good. Rebound tipped up and in by Joe Dotson. of the Beavers. Four to two, the Tigers up. As Jeff St. Clair will bring it to the front court for the Tigers. On the move with it. To the point position. And he signals the play. Trying to get it to Miller on the low post. It's tipped loose and out of bounds by the Beavers. It'll be Tiger ball. As the Tigers inbound it, St. Clair with the ball on the point position. To the right side, to DeWitt on the way. Holds it overhead, looks underneath. Gives it back to St. Clair, they come to Stephon on the near side. Back to St. Clair, and they go to Eads. Eads goes to the corner, five from 18 feet, good! Mike Eads drives it in from 18 feet, right side. Six to two, Tigers up with six oh eight to play. As Baston brings it to the front court for Bluefield. Works on St. Clair. Trying to get underneath, they get it underneath to Dawson. Dawson goes across the lane, takes it, got a traveling call. Uh, Steve Kelly and George Pack, the officials here tonight, out of Canola Valley. Those are very fine fellows. Very jovial type gentlemen. As uh, Eads will end down there, gets it into St. Clair at Baxton. Plays a little man to man. He gets it back to Eads. Eads takes it to the front court. To the left side. Turns it down the left side. Now he gives it to St. Clair. Back to Eads on the wing left side. Eads looking underneath. Works it toward the base side. Picks it up. Gives it outside to St. Clair. Top of the key. They go to step on Strain. Strain works it down toward the baseline. Gives it back outside to St. Clair. To Miller in the lane. Fine. Good. Miller working on bit. Puts it up and in. Eight to two. Tigers up by six now. As Baston brings it to the front court for Bluefield. As St. Clair plays the defense. 
As he gets it over on the far side to Copley. Copley still dribbling, gives it outside to Jones. Jones works on ease, goes through the lane, fires from 14 feet, off the plane, no good. Rebound to Stephon, as he and Ben going for it, Stephon blocks him off and puts the ball on. Gives it outside to St. Clair and Jeff to the front four with it for the Tigers. Jeff to the left side to ease, ease, goes toward the baseline. He'll fire from 20 feet, it's good. Mike Eves puts the Tigers up by a 10 to two count. As the Baskins brings it back for Bill Bluefield. As St. Clair working on him out there, almost got the ball. They pick it up, get it to Copley, shooting out of the corner, off the iron, no good. Rebound to Dent. Tying off the baseline from eight feet, no good. Tipped up by Copley, no good. Now, Miller rebounds, he is fouled by Dotson. That's number one on Dotson. Team foul number two on the Beavers. And it'll be Tiger Ball out of bounds. As they'll play it on the baseline. And the Beavers want a timeout. So with 4.49 left to play in the first quarter. Princeton 10, Bluefield 2. We'll be back right after this. We're back at Princeton High School Gymnasium. I just got poked in the ribs. And the score at with 4.49 left in the first quarter. Princeton 10, Bluefield 2. Bluefield called timeout. They're over conferring with Haney, Haney Willis and Glenn. What are they saying? Haney sent fellas, if they're going to win this game, we've got still more than they do. Get the lead and stay ahead, is that right? Got another effect. But now Miller's going to work in deep. Uh, they're getting the ball thing. So far, Dent really hasn't been able to do much with Jimmy, has he, Charlie? Sure hasn't. Uh, they're working in uh, real good. And, uh, and uh, I've noticed one thing, uh, Stephon Strain is guarding Dent. You notice that? I know Stephon blocked him off the board down there. Yeah, he did. Okay, the Tigers come to the offense now. Jeff St. Clair brings it to the front court. To the win on the wing, right side. Looking underneath, gives it back to St. Clair. They go to Stephon on the near side. As Stephon holds it up, now he gives it to St. Clair. He'll fire from 20 feet. It's good. And St. Clair just put it in the net from 21 feet. 12 to 2, the Tigers up. As Baskin brings it to the front court for Bluefield. Back to the way. Down to the front court. Leaves it for Copley. Copley gets it to Ben on the low post. Firing over top of Stephon. No good. Rebound, put up and in by, no, put up by Baston, so good. Rebound, picked out, picked up by St. Clair. Ball off loose, picked up by Eves. As Eves takes it from the back court and moves it down the right side. Eves gives it to St. Clair. St. Clair to DeWitt on the left side. Bang from 20 feet, off the iron, no good. And we got a foul on Miller as Dent in position for the rebound. Miller went over his back. That's number one on Jim, team foul number one on the Tigers. It'll be out of bounds to the Beavers. 402 left to play in the first quarter. It's first and 12, Bluefield 2. As now, Baskin will bring it to the offense for the Beavers. As Day takes it down the left side to Jones. Jones goes to the corner, comes back across the lane, and the shot was blocked by E. D brings the ball into the front court now. At the corner court, comes across the lane on his knees, still dribbling, has a double team, taking loose, and ball picked up by Dent of Bluefield. As he gets it over to Baskins, and Baskins to the front court, St. Clair moves in on him and calls for the foul. That's number one on St. Clair, team foul number two on the Tigers, as we will get Phillips into the ball game right now, and DeWitt will get a chance to catch his breath. As David Phillips comes in with a new pair of sneakers. He blew out his old ones, you know, they're only good for 59 miles an hour. <laughs> he blew them out over no kill. As the inbound pass for the Beavers from Jones to Baskins. Baskins to the front court, brings it to the near side. Turns it around the near side. The St. Clair hits him all. Gives it outside to Copley. Copley gives it back to Baskins. They go to Dent on the low post. Works on Stephon. Puts it up and in. Dent hits it for the Beavers. 12 to 4. Tigers on top of St. Clair. will bring it to the front court for Preston. To the point position against the 2 3 zone for the Beavers. As he's with the ball on the wing to Phillips on the high post to Miller on the low post. Fires up and in. Good. As Miller puts it up and off the glass. 14 to 4. As Dotson runs to the front court with it. They go underneath with it to Dotson. Dotson firing. Miller kicks it away. No good. Rebound. Dots out of bounds. Off of the Tigers. It'll be Bluefield ball. As Copley inbounds it, throws it out to Dotson. Dotson. As the pass intercepted by St. Clair, he's into the front court, lays the pass to Eve, he goes down, lays it up and in. Back E. Holy, this is for the Tigers. 16 to 4. As Baskin moves it to the front court for the Beavers now, to the left side. Wheel comes back to the near side, down from the his leg, picks it up, and gives it to Russell Copley. Copley gives it underneath to Dotson. Now to Copley, they go across court with it to Baskin. Outside with it to Jones, top of the key. Firing from 18 feet off the iron, no good. Rebound to Phillips to the Tigers. 
As they try to double team him, he gets it out to St. Clair. St. Clair to the front court with it. To Stephon Stein off the glass, got it. And Stephon Stein as the flag is moving, 18 to 4 over the Beavers. You see, 15 to play in the first quarter. As Baskin moves it to the front court, as St. Clair hits him off. He gets it to Copley. Copley goes to the corner, lifts it to Bucket, fires from the corner. Off the eye, no good. Rebound in traffic, picked up by Dawson. They got a double dribble on him. So it'll be Tiger Ball. As the first time he dribbled, he started to shoot, Cole Miller tried to dribble again. <laughs> You know who they're really working on out front is Jeff St. Clair doing an excellent job on Dewey Baskin. He can't set the play. He's really disrupting the tempo, isn't he? So St. Clair makes it to the front court now. Calls the signal. They want him to rotate. D's e, D's on the wing. Right side. Takes it to the corner. They double team him. He moves it outside to St. Clair. They go to Miller. High post. Bang out of the lane. Off the eye. No good. Phillips trying to tip the call for the foul. And that's, I'm sure it's on Phillips. He climbed over somebody's back. And we'll get Stuart Grell into the game right now. That's number one on Phillips. Team foul number three. And Jeff St. Clair bring out to get a little breather right now. And uh, we'll get Grell into the game. Now it's on Phillips. Now it's on Phillips. As Vastus will bring it to the front court. As Grell will play the defense. He gets it to Jones. Jones. Defense by E. Turns it toward the baseline. E cuts him off. Won't let him have the shot. He gets it out to Copley. They go to Baskin. Now they're down inside. Bang. It's no good. He is fouled by Stephon Strain. And on Stephon, that is number one. But that's team foul number four on the Tigers. And that'll be a shooting foul. We'll see Ben on the line. He'll shoot two. Way and Jack Lara indicates that uh, before the game, he talked to some of the first of these when uh, David Phelps might have a little touch of the first. I was talking to David in the dressing room before that. And the St. Clair has got a call, but he doesn't have the flu, I don't think. I think he's got a heavy cold. And, of course, uh, Ralph's working pretty hard. So he's giving him a breather right now. He's been working pretty hard on batting. So, Dent finds the signal line. The first one's good. The second one's good. 18 to 6 now with a minute 31 to play in the first quarter. The Tigers on top. As Will brings it to the front court. To Eads, Eads on the wing, goes toward the corner, leaves it back outside for Grill, holds it overhead, looking underneath, takes it back across court with it, now picks it up. To Eads, Eads takes the shot, now he will fire, off the glass, good, Mike Eads, pounds it in from about 14 to 15 feet, left side, as Baskin brings it to the front court for Bluefield. Grill picks him up at the half side, he gives it to Jones, as Jones comes toward the near side, starts it into the lane, and Eads strips him with the ball, picks up by Baskin, gets it to Copley driving, lays it up to Miller, pinned it on the glass, it's put up by Jones over there, rebound by Miller. Up to Eads, Eads into the front court with it for the Tigers. As Eads works on the screen, now he fires from the baseline off the eye, tipped up by Miller, does it? Trying to tip again, Miller tips, and it is good. And Miller staying with it. Miller has 10 points so far in the first quarter, and uh, Mike Eads has eight. 22 to 6, the Tigers enjoying an advantage over the Beavers. It's Sammy Jones with the ball in the front court for Bluefield. Top of the key with it. To the right side to Batson. Batson starts inside, gives it back outside to Jones. The Tigers bring a man-to-man defense. As Jones starts inside, he cuts him off. Jones back off. Now he goes under. Fires. No good. Rebound. Comes off to Miller. Jones hits the floor. The pass out to Will. Center to the front court. Right side. Gives it to Eads. Eads waits for traffic to clear and they'll set the play. As Will takes the ball to the point position. To Phillips, they go to Stephon underneath, making fire and good. It's Stephon working underneath, 24 to 6. As the buzzer sounds down the first quarter, the Tigers enjoying a big first quarter over the Beavers, 24 to 6. We'll be back right after this. Pulled in with the first quarter score, Princeton 24, uh, Bluefield 6. Princeton has Mike Eats with four field goals, eight points. Jimmy Bellows, four field goals. Two for two at the foul line, ten points. Step on Mary, four points. St. Clair, two. Dent, four points for Beaver. And Joe Dawson has the only other four, uh, points for Beaver. Charlie? The French here from the field, they made 11 out of 15 for 73%. They're real hot, aren't they? And made, uh, pulled down eight rebounds and committed only one turnover. Jack, you have two well, points? Well, uh, Bluefield just the opposite. They were two out of six teams in the field for 12 percent. They had six rebounds and five turnovers. That's kind of tough to live with, isn't it? Princeton can't play much of a better quarter than they did out there. They looked pretty good. They did. They looked pretty good. They're hounding that ball on defense, though. The Tiger defense, I believe, is making the difference. Right out front. They're so playing kind of defense and they're running. Right. All right, we're ready for the second quarter. Tigers back out there. Miller against Dent in the center circle. Dent and Miller's in, waiting on the official. Official moves down, and Miller tips it to the whip. 
As the whip back into the ball game for Phillips, the Tigers with uh, Phillips and St. Clair, Miller, Eve, and uh, Stephon Strain. As the whip drops it underneath to Miller, what's the baseline? Fires! As Miller goes to the baseline and hooks it on the glass. 26 to 6, the Tigers up. As Matt is to the front four, with a for Beaver. Down the left side. To Dotson. Dotson gives it back outside to Jones. As Jones firing from outside off the iron, no good. Rebound to the wheel as he scores above the crowd to pull it down. Gets it out to St. Clair. Jeff takes it to the front court against the 2 3 zone for the Beavers. To Eves in the corner with the right side on the dribble. Gives it back outside to St. Clair. As Jeff behind the back dribble, they come to the near side to Miller. Way out on the wing. Drops it to St. To Stephon in the lane. Fake. Fires good as Green hits it up and in for the Tigers on an assist from Miller. <laughs> Seven ten to play in the first half. Tigers up twenty eight to six. As Bass to the front court with a tiny get it to Dent. Stephon picks it away. Picked up by St. Clair. Jeff to the front court to Miller. Goes to the lane. We got a triple line traveling call as Miller looking at Slam Dump to the fifth. I think it's Slam that wouldn't have been technical. Dead ball. So you can't duck in a, duck in a dead ball, take it to foul. And he wanted to, he had the hands up above that. So Baskins will bring it to the front court for the Beavers. 28 to 6, the Tigers on top. As they go to Copley, goes to the lane. Keeps over to Wet, off the iron, no good. The Wit tips it around to Miller, and we got a whistle and a foul. And it's called on the Wit. That's number one on James. Team foul number five on the Tigers. That'll put somebody on the line to shoot. As the Wit rebounding from the second position out, it's scored over top, he should have tipped the ball back to one of the teammates, and they call him for going over top. And that will put Joe Dotson on the free throw line for the Beavers. As Joe fires with the right hand, it's on the way and on the iron, no good. Rebound to the Wit. The Wit feeds it out to St. Clair. As they go to Eves in the front court, Eves goes toward the right corner, now he backs it outside. To St. Clair, top of the key with it. Firing from 20 feet off the front iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Jones of Beaver. As Sandy brings it to the front court behind the back dribble as he picks him up. To the right side, the Baston. Firing from outside off the iron. No good. Rebound to the wet in traffic. As the wet brings it to the front court on the dribble. And feeds it to Stephon. Ball loose. Picked up by Stephon. Dribbles to the baseline. Fires off the baseline. On the iron. No good. Rebound. Pulled down by Dent. He is fouled by Spain. As Stephon reaching in. Ball for the foul, and on step on that's number two, team foul number six on the Tigers. And that will put Mike Dent on the free throw line for the Beavers. Mike hit his only other two uh, free throw opportunities for the Mike. He hit a bucket, giving him four points, and a chance now for the free throw, free throw line to add to that. As Mike Dent on the line for the Beavers, 28 to 6. The Tigers on top with 6 15 left to play in the first half. As Mike fires, it's off the flange, no good. Rebound, flaps around, finally pulled down by Joe Dotson. He gets it out to Sammy Jones. And Jones with the ball on the wing. Right side, gets a pick from Dotson, fires over top of him, off the iron, no good. Rebound, picked out by East, picked up by Miller to DeWitt. DeWitt into the front four with it for the Tigers. Looking underneath now, still dribbling. Now he'll fire from 18 feet, it's good. 18 feet away, and DeWitt puts it down. 30 to 20. 30 to 6, Tigers up. And that's number three on Stephon, number seven on the Tigers, and then we'll go to the line. As Miller blocks the shot, the Stephon fouled it from underneath. And that's put Ben on the line, Mike Ben on the line, a big red-headed fella, sort of careful looking. His dad sitting just a few feet down to our right here, Lieutenant James Ben of the Blue Hill Police Department. Bring down on the side of Coach Terry Brown, Blue Hill State. As Ben fires the first free throw, it's good. 30 to 7. Tigers are leading by 23 right now with 5.46 to play in the first half. As this, ready to five. It's on the iron and good. 30 to 8. As the wit inbounds it to St. Clair. St. Clair in the backcourt as the Beavers will press. Now they got a 1-2-2-1. Two, two, one. Hey, that's too many players. They got a 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. The Villa in the front court. The E. D. goes to the baseline. Fires from about 12 feet. Good. Mike E. on the fadeaway. 32 to 8. As Baskins to Jones, them the front court. Goes down the lane, fires. It is no good. He is fouled by E. On Mike, that's number one. And that's team foul, dozen and a half on the Tigers. So that'll put Sammy Jones on the free throw line. 32 to 8. The Tigers enjoying a 24 point advantage. There's a wonderful picture here. But uh, if it's me, I don't know if it's anybody else, but Princeton 
Bruce Field has only been called for two fouls in this ball game. That's the 18th foul on the... Well, the Bruce Field's standing around right now, and they've got to get moving with it. That's all they've got. They've got to get moving with it. This is long loose. As Jones hits the second free throw, 32 to 9, he missed the first one. With 522 to play in the first half. He's with the ball in the backcourt for the Tigers. Gets it to Miller in the front court. They double team him. To E. Coming to the wet, driving, and we've got a traveling call. On the wet. As the Beavers will invent a Russell Copley. Or Copley, I guess it is. Inbound it to Joey Baskin. Baskin will bring it to the front court for the Beavers. The Tigers playing a man-to-man defense as St. Clair will pick him up as Baskin gets it to Copley in the corner. Gets it to Ben on the high post. Firing over Phillips, no good. Rebound through the wet. As the wet backs his way out of traffic. Gets it out to St. Clair. St. Clair to the front court with it. To Phillips. Drives the baseline. Fires the shot. is blocked by Ben. Tipped outside. Picked up by Jones of Beaver. Sammy into the front court with it. Driving. Goes down, lays it up and in good. And a foul called on Mike. And on E, that's number two, 32 to 11, as the Beavers have picked up a couple of buckets here on the Tigers. 4.49 to play in the first half. And Sammy Jones driving, got the bucket. And he banged it over top of him to deflect the flight of the ball, all for the foul. As Jones fires, no good. Rebound pulled down by the whip. As the Beavers are missing free throws, sadly. St. Clair will bring it to the front court for the Tigers. To the left side. To Eads on the wing. Back to St. Clair. They go to Phillips on the wing right side. Goes to the corner with it. Drops it underneath and overthrows it. And Joe Dotson picks it up for the Beavers. Gets it over to Batson. Curry into the front court with it for Bluefield. To Dotson. Dotson driving offensive foul. Call on Joe Dotson as they run into Miller. Miller hits the floor. That's number two on Dotson. And that brings some of the Bluefield crowd to the feet. I really didn't think Jimmy had good position to stab it on that particular call. Well, somebody agrees with you, but I heard him come up to the feet. 32 to 11. Tigers on top. Aziz gets the ball into Phillips to the front court. Phillips driving. Goes under. Shot blocked by Dent. Foul call on Dent. And on Dent, that's number two. Team foul number four on the Beavers. And that will put... Uh, David Phillips on the free throw line for the Tigers. As David Phillips, the run the line, James DeWitt comes over to get some rolls and off of the big from the Tigers. Phillips fires the first free throw, it's in and out, no good. He'll get a second attempt. First field up from the free throw line is five for nine. They're shooting out. I didn't think he's shooting out well, really. No, well, the uh, Dent made the first two that he put up. Dent made four of the five that they've made. As Phillips fires again, that's no good. Rebound pulled down by Copley of the Beavers. He gets it to Batson. Dewey to the front court, starts it to the left side. Backs it out, comes around to the near side, holds it up on the point of position. He goes to Jones. Jones working to the top of the key, works into the lane, can't get the shot away. He gets it back outside the Batson. He goes back to Jones. Jones working the baseline, fires off the baseline, no good. Rebound picked up by Dent, picked up, no good. Picked up by Dawson out of bounds, and it'll be Beaver ball. Hey, call it Tiger ball. The wet will end out. Did he get to the end of St. Clair? Pitches across court to Mike Eads. He's in the backcourt with it. They'll double team him in the backcourt. He drops it to St. Clair. Jeff gets it to the court to Miller. And Miller calls for turning the ball over. So it'll be Beaver ball on the side court. Far side in the back court. 32 to 11. Tigers up. As... Jerry Baskin calls the play. They want play number three. Brings it to the front court for the Beavers. Looking underneath. And he gets Dotson in the corner with it. Dotson gives it back outside. Now it's to Jones. And Jones is on the point position right now. Top of the key. Goes to the lane. Fires out of the lane. No good. Rebound stops around off the glass. Now Miller just rips it off the glass. Gives it out to E. Deeds into the front court with it. Looks at Baskin. Holds it up. Waits to set the offense. Outside with it to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff gives it back to E. Works toward the baseline, goes in the corner, drops it underneath, here comes out, Dent got the ball for the Beavers. Feeds it outside to Jones. Jones works on St. Clair, fires over him, no good, rebound to St. Clair. St. Clair, heavy traffic, behind the back dribble, comes to the front corner with it in a crowd. Dropping it underneath, top loose, picked up by Dent of the Beavers. Gets it out to Jones again, as St. Clair goes down, blocks the shot, foul call on St. Clair. That's number two on Jeff. 
Tigers want a timeout. So with 2.55 left to play in the first half, it is 30, 32, Bluefield 11. We'll be back right after this. We're back at Prince High School Gym with 2.55 to go in the second quarter. Prince is leading 32 to 11. And uh, so far, Prince has pretty well dominated the game after calling. Sure have. They're shooting real good. Uh, in this quarter, they made four out of seven. For the game, they made 15 out of 22. Uh, but uh, Prince is getting a little stop here the last few well, minutes. Well, I think I heard Jack Alaire mention something about six turnovers in the last couple of minutes. No, Princeton has committed six turnovers here in this quarter. So the uh, foul trouble could be uh, the old dude, Bugaboo, coming up. We got some kids. We got some step on with three, each with two, and St. Clair with two. All right, we're ready for ball now as the Tigers come back. And we'll have Stanley Jones on the free throw line for the Beavers. As Jones and Dent, Copley, Dotson, and Matson for the Beavers, the Tigers have got me, St. Clair, as Jones fires no good. The Tigers out there with Eve, St. Clair, Phillips, DeWitt, and Miller. 2.55 to play in the first half. Second shot, no good. Rebound, tipped around, pulled down by David Phillips for the Tigers. To St. Clair. St. Clair behind the back, dribble into the front court with it. As the Beavers drop into a 2-3 zone. Out to Eve. Eve's on the wing left side. To St. Clair. St. Clair directs some traffic as Miller comes out on the high post. Now he drops back to the baseline. It's the win with the ball on the corner. To Phillips on the baseline. Goes under. Fakes. Fires. No good. Rebound tipped outside into the crowd. And it'll be Princeton Tiger ball on the far side over there. As Phillips will inbound it. As he throws it way outside to Jeff St. Clair. As Jeff top of the key with it. To the wit on the wing. He'll fire from outside. It's off the iron. No good. Tipped up by Phillips. No good. Rebound. Pulled down by Dotson of the Beavers. He gets it over to Sammy Jones. Jones to the front four with it for Bluefield. Looking for Baston. Baston comes around behind him and takes the ball. Drives to the baseline. Fires. Off the iron. No good. Rebound to EZ. He is fouled from behind by Copley. That's number one on Copley. Team foul number five on the Beavers. That'll put Eves on the free throw line. He'll shoot a one and one for the Tigers. 2 old nine to play in the first half. 32 to 11. Tigers on top. And Jeff Adams comes into the ball game for the Tigers. As David Phillips will get a breather. Mike Eves has hit five field goals so far in the ball game for an even four points. And uh, Jimmy Miller has 12 points so far. So Eves on the line right now. He'll shoot a one and one. He fires. It's good. We'll get a second. Bluefield, by the way, is now 5 of 11 from the foul line. As he's ready for his second shot. He fires. It's good. 34 to 11. And the Tigers will press. As Jones with the ball in the backcourt. As Adam cuts him off. He gets it up to Copley. Copley turns it towards the front court, gets it back to Jones. Jones into the front court, pulls up, fires from 14 feet off the iron, no good. And Miller rebounds over the top of Dodson. Feeds it out to the wet. The wet into the front court. Now he starts to the baseline, drives, waves it out to Adam. Buying no good. And St. Clair hits it up and in. As Adam's shot was deflected, and St. Clair in midair gets it right on up and in. 36 to 11 now. Advances to the front court with it for the Beavers. Goes to the far side. They go to Miller on the post. Fires over top of Adams off the iron. No good. The whip gets it out to St. Clair. St. Clair on the move with it to the front court. Knocks it up. Waits for traffic to clear. They'll run the offense. And St. Clair moves it to the left side to the whip. The whip goes toward the baseline. They double teaming. Gives it back to St. Clair. They go across court with it to ease. He works to the baseline. Goes under. Takes the shot. And we've got a traveling call. As they call the up and down on the lead. 36 to 11 now with a minute 17 to play in the first half. As Dewey Baskin to the front court for the Beavers. Holds it high overhead and gives it to Copley on the wing. As they try and get underneath to Joe Dotson and Miller deflected the ball and must have hit Dotson's hand went out of bounds because they gave it to the Tigers. So St. Clair will bring it to the front court for Princeton. As he's directing some traffic, he wants to move the offense to the right side. They go to the right side to ease. He's on the wing. Back to St. Clair, to the wet on the wing left side. The E's on the baseline, firing off the baseline, off the iron, no good. Rebound, pull down by the Beavers as Copley feeds it out to Jones. Goes down the lane and St. Clair sits him with the ball. Picked up by E's in traffic. He's into the front court, works on dead, lays it over from Miller, it's not loose. Picked up by Jones as Jones comes down. 
Works on the whip, goes over top of the whip. We've got a whistle and a foul on the whip. I believe you'd call that a running block. Uh, <laughs> Chase the whip. Yeah, something like that. Did that bucket go in? They didn't, do it. I was watching. Uh, I don't think um, it did. I thought it did. I think it rolled off. Uh, it's 36 to 11. So yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it went two. in. They gave it to 36 to 13 now. And that will put Sammy Jones on the free throw line for one shot. As Jones fires, it's good. 36 to 14. Tigers up with 34 seconds to play in the first half. As St. Clair with the ball in the backcourt. Gets it to Phillips. Phillips on the wing right side. Comes across four with it through the width. And he looks at the clock and stands there holding the ball. Leads it back across court to Phillips. Phillips dribbling. Gives it back over to St. Clair. St. Clair standing in the center circle. Now through the width. Back to St. Clair. Now with 10 seconds on the clock, we'll start the offense to the width. The width feeds it down to the left side. Goes underneath. And we've got a whistle and a foul. And an offensive foul, call on James DeWitt. And on DeWitt, that's number three. So with six seconds on the clock, the Pavers will have the ball out of bounds in the backcourt. As they bring it into Baskins, he's coming up court with it. Phillips, Phillips, in, uh, Phillips intercepts the ball for the Tigers, but he stepped out of bounds. And there's one second on the clock as Will comes into the ball game for the Tigers, and DeWitt will sit down. Now, wait a minute, St. Clair comes out, too, so the Tigers only got four players out there. As Jones fires at the buzzer, it's no good. The Tigers are with four players. Here are the first half of play. The Princeton Tigers, 36. The Bluefield Beavers, 14. And we'll be back with halftime. First, first balls for this. 36-14, the Tigers leading by 12 here at halftime. Leading by 22 here at halftime after leading by uh, 18 at the end of the... First quarter, the Tigers jumped out to a lead, 24 to 6, and then put another uh, 12 points with it while holding the Beavers to 8 in the second quarter. Halftime for 36 to 14. All right, individually, Bob, for the uh, Bluefield Beavers of Coach Haney Willis, uh, we have Mike Dent with only one field goal, four of five at the foul line, six points. Dewey Baskin did not score. Joe Dobson has one field goal, also one at the foul line, two points. Sammy Jones has two field goals, two of six at the foul line. All of his points and all of his foul shots coming in the uh, second quarter, six points. Giving Beaver four field goals, six of 12 from the foul line, 14 points. Very dismal first half for the Bluefield team. For Princeton, Mike Eats has five field goals, two of two at the foul line, 12 points. Jeff Sanko has two field goals, four points. James DeWitt only one field goal for two points. Not a very good night for James offensively. Stephon Strain has three field goals, six points. Jimmy Miller has five field goals, two of two at the foul line, 12 points. Exactly the same statistics as Mike Eads. David Phillips came in, missed his only two free throw opportunities, no points, giving Princeton 16 field goals, four of six from the foul line, 36 points. One of the things we might look for in the second half is that we have James Wood with three fouls and Stephon Strain with three, St. Clair two, Eads two, and Charlie, you are you ready with the team? Yeah, here's the Princeton first half. They, they made 16 of 28 from the field for a 57 percent. They pulled down 19 rebounds, and they committed 10 turnovers. But nine of them turnovers was in the second quarter. Jack, you have to your death? Yes, I sure do. Bluefield shot a miserable 13% in the first half. They were four for 31 from the field, and 14 rebounds, and nine turnovers. So, uh, y'all ready for your halftime news? All right, we're going to pause for a commercial, and we'll be back right after this. Back at the Princeton High School Gymnasium, I'm Craig May, and I got alongside a very special guest. Representative of Wake Forest University, Assistant Coach Mark Twitener. First of all, we'd like to welcome you aboard, Coach. Thank you very much. Of course, we know that we have one of the best basketball talent area right in southern West Virginia. We feel, anyway. And uh, recently, of course, we're getting some outside scouts from down your way. Wake Forest, we're getting the uh, University of Virginia set up. And uh, we're starting to feel like we're getting the recognition that we deserve for this area. Well, this is a long bit of hotbed for uh, high school basketball, and I think that, you know, the talent is being seen, and uh, the schools are recruiting nationwide now more and more, and I think when you find great talent like this, uh, the game tonight, uh, there's, a, there's more than one kid on this floor tonight that can play college basketball. Of course, you 
you you are uh, a college basketball coach, and of course you probably know more about the aspect of our college talent than what we do. So how, how would our talent around here fare up in major college? Right. Well, you know, a lot of times you see kids, uh, you go to certain areas, and there, there may be one kid uh, in, in an area that can play major college basketball. You know, I think tonight, you know, you know naturally Jimmy Miller is being uh, recruited by many major schools. Uh, James DeWitt, I think, will have a fine future as a major college player. Uh, the sophomore, I think, you know, the, with development, will have a chance as well. Uh, tonight, just watching tonight, uh, you know, uh, the big kid on the opposing team here tonight, I think he's got a nice Mike frame. Him. Yes, he's, uh, you know, I don't think maybe he's ready for, uh, you know, the ACC or the Big Ten or something right now, but I, I like his uh, frame, and I think he'll be a nice college basketball player. Let's talk a little bit about the ACC. Fine basketball talent, and, well, it's just hordes and hordes, year in year and year out with talent, and we enjoy watching ACC basketball here. Well, this is my first year at Wake Forest, and uh, I'm being baptized right now, but uh, last last week we had five teams in the top 20, and uh, it just, you know, you look at your schedule, it doesn't get any easier. You know, you play, we have Duke uh, tomorrow night, NC State Saturday, North Carolina, and then we have Maryland, Virginia, right on down the line, and they just don't get any easier, and it's it's a very, very tough league. Well, you know, uh, a lot of people wonder why more national championships don't go to the ACC. I personally feel as though the talent that in the ACC is greater than anywhere else in the nation, and I feel like they kind of kind of take it to each other in their own tournament, and they're, they're almost run out by the time they get the NCAA. Well, that may be true. You know, you play everybody during the year twice, and, uh, you know, the competition is so keen in that area. Like in North Carolina alone, we have four major schools in Carolina and State and Duke and Wake Forest. And that competition is so intense. And then you get together at the end of the year for the ACC tournament, and uh, the feeling there is like none other. And uh, so when they get into the tournament, maybe there's a little bit that uh, they're a little tired. But uh, last year in the Final Eight, we had two ACC teams in the Final Eight, Duke and Clemson. So that might shoot the theory. But we haven't won a big one yet. Well, we're looking to Wake Forest to show us some stuff down there. Of course, UVA was an outstanding year so far this year. Ralph Sampson doing a job down there. And, well, the talent just goes all through the ACC. We feel as though we have some talent here that can, can play with your boys. Right. Well, Virginia's ranked uh, second, I believe. We're ranked fifth today. And, uh, you know, Maryland's in the top ten. And we have Carolina there, too. And it's just, you know, every week you lose the game, you're going to drop a few notches. But you've got to be ready to play every time you go on the floor. Talking a little bit more, one more question about high school ball. You see a lot of high school teams, I'm sure. How did the Tigers fare up as a high school talent team? Well, I, you know, I've uh, tonight they're playing as well as you know any high school team can play. I feel uh, they had a little lap at the end of the second quarter, but that first third in the first quarter, uh, I don't know what their percentage was, but they can play with most teams that they uh, you know in the United States. Uh, Size-wise, uh, other teams that you know that maybe have across the front line will have. Three, six, seven, six, eight kids, and uh, the guards might be a little bigger. But playing with the heart that the you know the Tigers are playing here in the first quarter, they'll match up with them. Alrighty, Coach, we thank you for dropping by, and we'll be back with more of our halftime show in the second half tip-off right after this. So don't go away. James okay. really hasn't been taking the ball to the basket like he did early, and I think he has had some calls by offensive fouls, and uh, he really is not taking it to the basket like he did. But well, of course, he only has two points in his first half tonight. Princeton leading 36 to 14. With the foul situation and everything else, Glenn, what, do you, what are we going to have to do in the second half to keep Princeton out of foul trouble and also to maintain our lead? All right, then we're going to That's what they're going to do. Tony, what do you think? I think in the first half here, uh, Princeton put a lot of pressure on the front man there and probably uh, had the tempo of the game early. But uh, Bluefield only made four out of 31 for 13%. So that's a little hard. You know, when it's your 13%, it's hard to be, even be in the ball game like that. That's true. Jack, what you got? Well, he's still about that. Okay. All right, we're going to pause 30 seconds. We'll be back with second half right after this. Okay, we're ready for second half to play as the Tigers leading the Beavers 36 to 14 here at the Princeton Gymnasium before a good crowd, a noisy crowd, and pretty much a cheerful, uh, good cheering crowd, which is what you like to see at the high school ball game. And if you have not been down here to watch a ball game, make sure you get down all of the pageantry that is high school athletics. It's worthwhile. So the Beavers come back in the second half with Copley, Dotson, 
Matson, Jones, and Pence. The Tigers will come out with St. Clair, Miller, DeWitt, Eads, and Strain. As we see them with the warm-up golf, as we count noses in there. As the Tigers leading by 22 big ones here at halftime, and they'd like to stretch it out. The Tigers played very well the first quarter, not too well the second quarter. And so now they'd like to get us back on the tempo they had in the first quarter. As Miller moves out to the center circle, we have Dent moving in for Bluefield. Miller moves in for the Tigers. And the official now moves in, and the tip controlled by the Tigers as the tip controls to James DeWitt. On the dribble out front, leaves it for St. Clair. St. Clair to DeWitt on the right side, back to St. Clair. They go to Eads on the left side. Now to DeWitt in the corner. To Miller on the low post. Forced on Dent, fires so good as Dent got a piece of it. And took the rebound off, gave it over to Jones. Check at Matson. Matson to a front court with it for Bluefield. As the Tigers look like they're playing a 1-3-1 zone. Dent with the ball, high post to Jones. Firing from the wing, left side off the iron, no good. They've skipped around and knocked out of bounds. It'll be Tiger ball. As the Tigers will come to the offense now. As Jeff St. Clair will bring it to the front court. Up the center circle. To the right side to Eads on the wing. Mike holds it overhead, gives it back outside to Jeff. As Jeff goes to the whip, to Eads in the corner. Looking underneath, gives it back to St. Clair, top the key. To the whip, to Eads in the corner as they're working an overload. Now they got Steph on on the back door over here. As the whip out on the wing. Holding the ball overhead, gives it to Eads deep in the corner. He'll fire out of the corner. It's off the iron, no good. Steph on rebound, works on Dodson, fires. Off the iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Jones of Bluefield in traffic. As Jones waits for it to clear, leaves it for Baskin. And Baskin will move it to the front court for the Beavers. Gives it back to Jones, back to Baskin. To Jones, as Jones moves it to Dotson on the baseline, back outside of Jones. They go to Baskin on the right side, down to Copley in the corner, brings it back to Jones on the quarter court near side. As Jones dribbles twice, gives it back to Baskin, down to Dent on the high post. He'll fire from 14 feet, it's in. Good, he got... The iron and glass, but it drops. 36 to 16 as the Beavers draw first blood here in the second half. Tigers on top to DeWitt. Gives it to E. Deeds on the wing position right side. Back to St. Clair. To DeWitt. DeWitt to St. Clair. To DeWitt on the wing. As DeWitt looks underneath, now gives it back to Jeff. And Jeff's directing traffic. As he's waiting for somebody to move. Now they drop it to Miller on the low post. Works on Dent. He is fouled by Dent. Pass number three on Mike Dent. Team foul number one on the Beavers. Second half had to put Miller on the free throw line for the Tigers. 6.07 left to play in the third quarter. First and 36, Bluefield 16. Yeah. Yeah, that's where he's down here. As Jim Miller hits the first free throw. As Terry Graham come up here, one of the cheerleaders with some kind of message he wants to get to Bill Wilkerson. And uh, as Miller ready for a second free throw, 37-16 now, the Tigers on top. As Miller fires again, it's good, 38-16. Tigers leading by 22. As the Tigers set the press up, now they drop out of it since the telegraph, the ball got loose on the floor and the Beavers saw the press. So now Batson will bring it to the front court against the 1-3-1 zone. As Batson with the ball, they go to Copley in the corner, gives it back outside to Batson, almost loses the control on it as St. Clair puts some pressure on him. Gives it back to Jones and to Bassins. The Bassins directing traffic as they go to Dotson. And the Bassins on the right side to Copley in the corner. Gives it back to Jones, top of the key. The Bassins firing from the side of the key. Good. As Bassins puts it in from 17 feet. 38 to 18, Tigers up. As Jeff St. Clair will move it to the front court for the Tigers. As Jeff to the right side to Eves on the wing. Looking underneath with it. Holding one hand. Gives it back to St. Clair. Firing from 20 feet. Good. As Jeff St. Clair puts it in the net, 40-18, Tigers on top. As Dre Baskins works it through the front court for the Beavers. Directing traffic, he wants Dent out on the high post. They go to Copley deep in the corner, now to Jones on the near side. As Jones takes his two dribbles and gives it to Baskins. Now they go to Dent on the high post. Works to the lane, fires, it is off the iron, no good. Rebound tipped out by the whip, picked up by St. Clair. St. Clair to the front court with the top of the key. Dropped it to Eads on the baseline. Fires off the iron. No good. He is fouled by Jones of Bluefield. That's number one on Jones. Team foul number two on the Beavers. That's the first foul of the ball game for Jones. He better get in the ball game, isn't he? Defensively. As Mike Eads on the free throw line for the Tigers, he'll shoot two shots. 
Jones looks like he may be a little fatigued out there. He may be something a little flu or chest cold or something. He's five sleep, though it's good. He'll have a second attention. As Mike Eads ready to go again. 41 to 18, Tigers on top. As he fires, it's good. 42 to 18. As the Tigers will press now. Copley with the ball in the backcourt on the dribble. Miller takes it away from him. Miller goes down across the lane, fires, and it's so good. He is fouled by Copley, and Miller is upset he missed the shot. That's number two on Copley. That's number one that slam dunk the guy's in his way, and he's ready to go over the top of it. That's team foul number three on the free, but that's what Miller on the free throw line does. <laughs> Miller will be getting a two-shot foul. And coming into the ball game for Bluefield will be Stephon Thomas, and Copley will come out. As Thomas in, and... Uh, Copley's out. So Miller on the line. Fires the first free throw. It's good. He'll have a second. As Jim will get a second attempt. Jim looked like some kind of an acrobatic dancer on that, didn't he? Jim fires again. No good. Rebound pulled down by Dana Bluefield. He gets it over to Baston. Baston's in the backcourt with it. Works his way slowly to the front court. Gives it to Jones. Jones on the left side. Gives it back to Baston. Back to Jones. Takes the shot. Gives it to... Johnson underneath the dent, dent firing off the post, good. As dent hits it from the left, well, he's a good shot. 43 to 20. The Tigers leading. As St. Clair with the ball on the point position for the Tigers against the 2-3 zone of the Beavers. And they go to Miller on the high post. Johnson underneath the step on strain. It's not loose and out of bounds by Johnson of the Beavers. It'll be Tiger ball on the baseline. They're going to give it to him on the left side of the lane. The wet will be the treasure man. As they set it up, they drop it into Miller on the low post. Works on... Ball to the floor, puts the shot up anyway, no good. Rebound pulled down by the Beavers. As Thomas brings it to the front court, gives it to Jones. Jones gives it to Baston, back to Jones. To Johnson, they go to Dent. Then in the lane, firing over Miller, no good. Rebound tipped up once, no good. Tipped up again, and good by Thomas. Thomas tips it up and in for the Beavers. 43 to 22. The Tigers on top of St. Clair. Brings it to the Ball off loose, picked up by Miller, as Miller drives the lane, now he'll fire, it's good. From 13 feet, Jim Miller pounds it in. 43 to 22, the Tigers up. As Sammy Jones to the front court, with it against the 1-3-1 zone of the Tigers. The Dotson in the corner, back outside to Jones. Now they go to Baptist on the far side, firing off the iron, no good. Rebound to Dotson. We got traveling call as he lost his balance. Stephon may have nudged him a little bit there. <laughs> But Stefan didn't get caught, so I guess he didn't nudge him. You reckon? I thought the three personal fouls. I think he nudged him. <laughs> anyway, here come the Tigers. The Tigers on the offense. As St. Clair into the front court with it. To the right side to ease. Ease looking underneath. Now looks at the bucket. He'll fire from 18 feet. It's off the iron. No good. Miller with the ball. Knocks loose and out of bounds. A little bit of jump ball between Miller and Dent. And Dent is taller than Miller. Yes, he is. But I don't believe his shoulders are any taller, any higher. May not be. Of course, it's hard to get them both standing straight up at the same time. One of them's always crossing a little bit or <laughs> bending over or something. And the tip's controlled by the Tigers as St. Clair tips it to, as Jay E tips it to St. Clair. And Jeff starts the offense to the west on the wing. Got to try and get the Miller on the baseline. It's knocked out of bounds by the Beavers. It'll be the be Tiger ball on the baseline. 45-22. Tigers on top. As the shot put up by Miller, no good. Rebound pulled off by Jones off Bluefield. Jones brings it to the front court. Down the left side. Holds it up. Sebastian's on the far side. To Thomas in the corner. Back out. They go to Dan on the post. Goes under fire. So good. And Miller fouled him. As Miller dropped the shot off the glass. And there's no goal. And he gets a foul call. Now, Jim, that's number two. Team foul number one on the Tigers second half. Foul is called on Jimmy Miller. And they will put Mike Dent on the free throw line for the Beavers. 2.43 to play in the third quarter. 45-22, the Tigers enjoying uh, an advantage over the Beavers. As uh, Dent fires, it's good. He'll have a second attempt. 45-23, the 
Tigers leading by 22 now. As Mike down on the line to fire once more. He puts it up. It's no good. It's off the plane. Rebound pulled down by Jim Miller. He gets it over to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff takes it to the front court. Looking underneath all the time. Now he gives it to Eads on the right side wing position. Mike goes to Miller. They go to step on underneath. He lays it up and in. And they got the play open. On the overload. 47 to 23. Tigers on top. As Bass is into the front court with it to Jones. Jones. Off the key, the bats is on the right side. To Thomas, back to bats is out of dent on the low post, turning fine, good. As Mike Dent, Michael. it's the one-hander for the Beavers. As the Beavers press, think there's ease with the ball in the backcourt. Moves it toward the front court, into the front court to the width. James the on the wing, left side to Jeff St. Clair. As Jeff holds it on his hip, now he fits to the width. They go to Stephon on the high post. Stephon gives it back to the width, goes to the baseline. Ball rolls loose, picked up by Dan of the Beavers. Gets it over to Thomas. Thomas will dribble to the front court. To Jones. Jones in the front court with it. The Baptist back to Jones. They go to Thomas, firing off the baseline, off the iron. No good. Rebound to the width of the Tigers. As James will bring it to the front court. Leaves it for St. Clair, and Jeff will start the offense. As he's looking underneath, now he gives it to the width on the wing. James looks at the bucket, holds it overhead. Dribbles it one time, gives it back outside to Jeff St. Clair. They go to Eads on the far side. Time from 20 feet off the iron, no good. Tipped up by Stephon, no good. Miller rolls up with it, no good. It's ball knocked loose. And reclaimed by Eads of the Tigers. Drops it underneath to Stephon St. Fires. Traveling call. 47-25. Tigers leading by 22 with a minute. 13 to play. Is that 13? In the third quarter? Yeah. As the Tigers on defense, the 1-3-1 zone as Jones into the front court with it for the Beavers. The Baskins on the far side with it. As he brings it back to Jones, he'll fire from 18 feet up off the front iron. No good. Rebound pulled down by St. Clair. He's into the front court with it. Got help. It goes around his man. Ball tip loose by Baskins and out of bounds. It'll be Tiger ball on the baseline with 56 seconds left to play in the third quarter. As the whip inbounds it. To St. Clair. They go to Miller on the post. Firing over Dan. No call on that one. As the ball off loose. Picked up by Jones. Drives into the front court. He takes the ball. Gets it over to Baskin. As Baskin brings it outside. They'll set the offense now with 43 seconds on the clock. Looking into the corner with it to Dotson. Gives it back outside the bat to Baskin. And a pass going for Jones. Was kicked by St. Clair. So it'll be Beaver ball out of bounds. As Jones with the ball. To Thomas in the corner. They go to Dan on the low post. Fires. Miller blocks the shot. Takes it out of the air. Jim comes up with it. Gives it outside to St. Clair. Jeff into the front court with it to Stephon. Stephon on the baseline. Has a knock loose. Picked up by Jim and heavy traffic. We got a whistle and a foul on Miller. As they're laying all over the floor out there. That's number three on Jim. And team foul number... Is that two on Jim? Three on Jim. Three on Jim. Team, team, team foul number two. Team foul number two. Okay. So with 22 seconds left to play in the third quarter... Jim Miller called for the foul. And you know, Jim stretches out in that lane. That's a lot of lane coverage. Yes, it is. Chris now has three players with three fouls. Stephon, James, and uh, Jimmy Miller. As Thomas ends the front row with it, too. Then on the high post. Takes the shot. Looks at Miller. Doesn't take the shot. Gives it to Batson. Fire from outside. Good. Dewey Batson from 20 feet. Hits it. As the inbound pass almost got loose. Now St. Clair picks it up. Gets it to E. D. Works it to the front court. Goes toward the lane. Goes up for the shot. We got a whistle and badly with two seconds on the clock. And it will be Beaver Balls. They bring it in to Thomas. He throws it to the floor and I'll do it. And the end of the third quarter brings the Tigers with 47 points and the Beavers with 27 points. And we'll be back right after this. Eight minutes to play in the ball game. The Princeton Tigers 47, the Bluefield Beavers 27, and Bob, uh, third quarter, uh, oh, huh, 13 to 11, Bluefield. By the third quarter, uh, Mike East picked up two points on the uh, free throw line for 14. Jimmy Miller picked up three of four from the foul line, one field goal, giving him 17 points so far on the night. For Bluefield, the big gun was Mike Dent with three field goals, one of two at the foul line giving him 13 points in the ball game and a pretty good shooting uh, five of seven from the free throw line. Charlie? That third quarter, Princeton only made three, three out of ten from the field for 30%. They pulled down eight rebounds and committed four turnovers. Kyle was hurt. Sure did. 
And they're shooting 30% of it. They shoot Mike Bluefield now. We're ready to go. It'll be Miller that's up against Dent and the tip control by the Tigers. And so it tips it to Eve. The Tigers run with Eve, Strain, DeWitt, St. Clair. So who they leave out? Miller, DeWitt. Train uh, Eaton to St. Clair. Okay, Eaton with the ball in the corner right now for Princeton. Gives it back outside. St. Clair with the ball to the wind on the near side. Fires from 20 feet. It's off the iron. No good. Rebound pulled down by Thomas to Bluefield. Uh, Thomas to back where the ball is. Bluefield's got Thomas, Dent, Baskin, uh, Jones, and Dotson. Dotson with the ball in the corner right now, right side. And it's kicked loose and out of bounds by the whip. It'll be out of bounds to the Beavers in the front court. As Baskins will inbound it on the far side. As Baskins inbounds it in the corner, they give it to Dent. He's out on the side, goes to the baseline, fires from the baseline, good. As Mike Dent puts it in, from about 15, 16 feet, pretty good range. 47-29, as the Beavers cut into that Tiger lead now. As the Tigers come to the offense, the win with the ball wing, left side. Back out to St. Clair, top of the key, to the near side to Stephon. The kind of the middle on the low post. It's deflected, taken away by the Beavers. And Dent comes out with it. Gets it out to Jones. And Jones gives it to Baston. That's it to the front court. Well, it's to Jones. Goes to the key. To Dent. Fine off the lane. No good. Rebound goes to the floor. Picked up by Dawson. Stabble for it. Put up by Thomas. Good. And Thomas puts it up and in for the Beavers. As the Beavers cut the Tiger lead to 16. As the Witt. As he's in the front court with it. To step on. Fire. Good. Stephon on a foot on a pretty big palm build up the knees. As Baston brings it to the front court for the Blue Wheel Beavers. Baston goes to the lane, goes down the lane, fires. Good. Jerry Baston on the left of the court moves. 49 to 33 as the Beavers pressing. Eads with the ball for the Tigers into the front court. Comes down, fires. Off the iron, no good. Rebound to the Witt, fires. No good. Knocked out of bounds by the Beavers. And the Witt thing, he was fouled. Well, he certainly was, but there was no call on the play. So the wind inbounds it to Miller. Works on Dan across the lane. And boy, had a lot of contact. Now we got traveling calls. And coming back into the bowl again to Russell Copley of the Beavers. And now the Tigers want to time out as Ralph Ball is really upset with the officiating. So it's 6 18 to play in the ball game at 49 to 33. We'll be back right after this. <laughs>
56-44. As Orn fires, it's no good. So now we'll get the technical, and on shooting the technical will be 12 foot. No, they're going to put Orn back on the line and shoot the technical.
And Joseph Harrison was two of four from the foul line for two points, giving him 27 field goals, 14 of 20 from, giving Princeton 27 field goals, 14 of 20 from the foul line, and 68 points. Charlie, what have you got in terms of team statistics? Okay, here for Princeton in the game from the field, they made 27 of 62 for a 43 percent. They pulled down 40 rebounds and committed 20 turnovers. So they had a fine shooting night tonight. Jack, you have Bluefield set? We sure do. Uh, Bluefield was 19 out of 61 from the field for a very poor 31 percent. They uh, had 30 rebounds. They, all, they committed 19 turnovers, so uh, turnovers were about even. Princeton now rebound them by 10. And uh, I thought it was in the second half was poorly played. The second half got very sloppy. I think the officiating kind of let it get out of hand. Uh, sure the, did. The officials just really didn't do the job they were supposed to have done there. And uh, that's the reason why it got so rough on the bucket. I give him a D minus. I wouldn't pass him. Huh? I wouldn't pass him. Oh, well, I, when I was in school, D wasn't passed. That's what I was, wasn't it? No. Yeah. I thought you would have you. I thought everything passed up there. <laughs> you know the best thing to come out of Morgantown? Oh, it's I said me now. Oh, oh, oh. Right, let's go down for the Tiger 6. Are you out of the theater? That road turns around and goes the other way now. You can say the best thing going into the Morgantown is the rest of the state. Right, See, that's thing, a two-way that's road. The best thing coming out of Pennsylvania, huh? <laughs> hey, but if you take this away, then you away, you lose over, uh, use about 78% of the WDU enrollment. That's uh, not true. And also, you lose 81% of all the athletes. <laughs> well, that, that's true. <laughs> Football players, anyway. <laughs> Final score, the Tigers on top, 68-50. The Tigers win action again next Friday night against the Parkersburg Big Red. As the Tigers are victorious and run that record out to, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and 2 on the season now? 4 and 2. As the uh, Tigers... Uh, Shooting uh, 27 out of 62 for 43%. That's really not a good shooting night uh, for the Tigers. The Tigers are a better shooting team than that, and we expect to see them in the 50%. But the ball game got pretty rough, and Bluefield shooting 19 out of 61. So Bluefield got as many shots as the Tigers did. They just didn't hit on for 31%. Rebounding, the Tigers with 40 to the 30 for the uh, Bluefield. And turnovers, the Tigers charged with 20 to 19. And Miller now with 926 points on the season means he has 74 big ones away from that foul. And there are some people in the Tiger history story got us out. We'll try to name those for you later on. But before Coach Ralph Ball comes up, let's pause 30 seconds for this message. Princeton. Final score, the Tigers beating the Beavers 68 to 50. Here in a wild game. I think we're going to out again in the second half. We think they're going to to play a little too much. And get too much contact on it. Glenn, while we're waiting on Coach Ball to come up, I noticed in the paper the other night that uh, Parkersburg defeated uh, a Logan team fairly handily the other night, by 12, 13 points. Yeah. And Parkersburg will be coming in here on Friday night, the 23rd, to play Princeton. That's right, next Friday night. And uh, if we're waiting, I don't know if Coach Ralph Ball's coming up or not. I, know, I guess we're going to have to sign it off without him. He's standing down on the floor right now, but he's talking to a newspaper reporter. And, of course, uh, we, we can't hold this thing live uh, for a real long time without losing it. As uh, the Tigers are victorious, and the Tigers will be in action again next uh, Friday night right here at the Tiger Gymnasium as the Tigers will take on the Parkersburg Big Red. The ball game being brought to you now on Big Way Radio by the Preston Bank and Trust Company, Pepsi Cola, the Michigan Chevrolet Olds AMC Jeep, Chad's Department, Discount Department Store, Harvey's Warehouse, and the Preston Pharmacy. So I'm Glenn May, and I've got uh, Rob Graham alongside with Charlie Wright. We've had Jack O'Leary and Craig over the whole bunch saying we appreciate the fact that you've allowed us to be a party of evening. Back to the matter is, we say thanks so much for listening. Good night, all. Lift our hearts, lift our strings, let's revere our school of faith. Ever true, Lord, and all true, for our colors, white and blue. Dear Princeton High School, how I love our pride. We've always held you as our shining light. Our joys, our sorrows, hopes, dreams, and fears.
us revere our school of faith, ever true, loyal.